Let me show you what this bad boy can do. Hey, welcome back to Titanium Man Garage. And today I'm going to shoot a quick video on how to hotwire your fan so you don't have to worry about your sensors uh, dying on you and your engine accidentally overheating. It's just some little trick that I like to do. I had a couple subscribers ask, uh, how do you go about doing that? So there's two different uh, ways of doing it depending what style ATV you have. I got the 05 Scrambler sitting here and that'll have to be wired one way. And uh, I've got a 99 Sportsman over here. and. Uh, I'll have to pull the hood off of that and show you that'll be a completely different way. What I'll do is I'll show you on uh, the 04 and on up style. Um, if you have a, a sportsman with the uh, speedometer and the tachometer up on top, um, the method I show you, um, if you bypass it, it'll show the uh, temperature light flashing on the, uh, the gauges. So if that doesn't bother you, you know, you could bypass it. And if it does bother you, you can just replace the temp sensor. Um, but yeah, I'll just show you how I do it. And uh, if you guys like it, good. If you don't, well, then don't do it. <laughs> so um, here's my quick tip of the day. So first things first, I made up a couple jumper wires. For the 05 Scrambler, I happen to have an old uh, temperature sensor laying around. And it had the plug on it. This one's shot. Like I said, uh, it, uh, it blew the motor on another one I had, so I kept it. And what I did was I cut the end off and uh, I made a jumper out of it. So basically, um, cut the ends, stripped the wires, twisted together, put some uh, electrical tape on there. So basically what you're doing is you're uh, tricking your electronics and uh, you'll have your wire coming in, circulate back around and your fan will stay on constantly. Or if you don't have one of these laying around, uh, you can just make a little makeshift jumper wire. I, I had um, something else electronic from a four-wheeler that's got, that's got the male and the female ends. Um, if you don't have that, you can just kind of make something work because you know your other end of your uh, temp sensor is going to have this and this. So you got a male and a female end. So that's why I use something like this, or you can go to your auto parts store and I'm sure these two ends you can buy. Now for the uh, 99 Sportsman, I'll take a different uh, type of jumper wire. Uh, this is a makeshift one I just use for testing. I wouldn't go ahead and use this, but um, uh, you want two flat ends right here. And uh, when I get that far, I'll show you why they need to be fine. Right, so most people would think uh, you would uh, just take this off the fan and uh, you would bypass it that way. That is uh, one way, but uh, I got a better way. Well, some of you might be saying, hey, Titanium man, what are you doing? Here's my little trick. Let's get some light on the subject here. All right, so on the side of your engine, right behind this uh, tank, there's that temperature sensor I showed you on the bench. And your wire comes up. It's so basically uh, when your engine gets hot, uh, your uh, oil temperature sensor opens up, sends power back to your fan. I do is. Let's disconnect it. And I got my little makeshift jumper. Gonna plug that into the side where the electronics go. Now I have the key. The fan comes on. You can just kind of tie wrap that and tuck that out of the way. And that would be for uh, an 05 and up, or, or possibly an 04 and up. Uh, correct me on the year if I'm wrong, I might even be 03. So now let me show you on the uh, 99 Sportsman. And uh, let's see, I guess everything from 96 to probably 2001 uh, would be this style. 
and uh, some of the 700s too as well. All right, back to the bench. I made up a uh, different style jumper wire. Um, now this isn't the best, don't do it like this. Uh, this is my little test wire I use on all my ATVs. Um, if you can go to the uh, auto parts store and get the uh, style with the square ends on it. Okay, so now this is a 99 Sportsman. Uh, I think up to 2001, 2002 you can do this. Um, you got your wiring harness coming in. Goes to your uh, temperature sensor or your um, on your uh, radiator. You unplug that. You see uh, how those ends are square. That's kind of what I was talking about. All right, I got my jumper wire shoved in there, and now when I turn the key, I just hot wire the fan, so the fan will stay on constantly. Hear it? All right. So, now you'd want to waterproof this somehow, so depending how you made your jumper wire, you know, wrap this very good with electrical tape, and uh, never have to worry about your temperature sensor kicking out again and ever blowing a motor. The downfall on this is it does put some wear on the battery, and like I said, if you uh, had a 0405 uh, Sportsman with a digital tack and speedometer, your uh, your little wrench or your uh, temperature light will be flashing constantly. So, like I said, if you uh, if you don't like that idea, then don't do it. Um, this is a cheap, quick fix. Um, if you're just out riding uh, on your own property or bombing around, you don't really care. Um, feel free to try my method out. See if you like it. So, hope you like the video. And uh, if you're new to the channel, feel free to subscribe. Got plenty of uh, repairs from two strokes to four strokes. Um, yeah, yeah, just about anything I got. And uh, I got a garage full of ATVs. So, you know what that means. A lot more videos. So, if you guys got any questions, uh, give me a shout out and I'll uh, see if I can help you out. And like always, until next time.